Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. This morning at 427 East Coast time, there was a moderate earthquake there by the Virgin Islands, a magnitude 3.9. Luckily, there was no tsunami, no tsunami warning. It was about 30 miles in depth, maybe a little bit deeper. No one said they felt this earthquake, so there hasn't been any reports of injuries or damage at this time. This latest earthquake was the strongest earthquake in the area in the last 30 days, according to USGS. This latest earthquake was one of hundreds that have struck the area near Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands over the last 30 days. According to USGS, there's been over 306 earthquakes in this location on the map. Let me bring it over for you. The most recent was there in Puerto Rico, a magnitude 2.1, uh, 9.5 miles in depth. Yesterday, there was a magnitude 3.2 by Cruise Island or Cruise Bay, um, also near the Virgin Islands. Let me show you that. Back in 1867, there was a 7.5 earthquake that did create a tsunami right over here. And yeah, that caused hundreds of people to die. Also in this area, in the last 30 days, there's been 215 earthquakes that were over a magnitude 2.5 or greater. Back on, I believe, the 10th of this month, there was a magnitude 6.7 earthquake. Um, this is all caused by the North American plate subducting um, over here. Yeah, these islands are just getting crushed. Luckily, there was no tsunami. Um, generally, you got to have magnitude 5 or maybe a little bit greater. And they often happen from earthquakes uh, that cause landslides or volcanic eruptions under the sea. Out in the depths of the ocean, tsunami waves do not dram dramatically increase in height, but as the waves travel inland, they do build up higher and higher heights as the depths of the ocean decrease as they get closer to land. The speed of a tsunami depends on the ocean depth rather than the distance from the source of the wave. Tsunami waves may travel as fast as a jet plane over deeper water, but slow down as they reach shallower waters. Yeah, and then when they reach shore, they build up their height. So, thank God there wasn't anything dramatic today so far. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Always be prepared. If you are in an area where they can have tsunamis, have a plan. Uh, where you can go to reach higher ground quickly. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.